Um, go. Microphone away, he's got his little, he's in his little house. Okay, north westerly today, folks. So, if anything, they're going to be landing right wing in, but at the moment, it's kind of. Uh, It's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Hailstones in Banbury. Yeah, we had some uh, Steve Stibbons. <laughs> Broadsword calling Danny Boy. Broadsword calling Danny Boy. All right, there, Skipper. Yeah, we're just coming in. Looks like either... I think this is Etihad. No? Yes? No? Air Canada. Sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, um, I thought it might be that blue Etihad one. So battling a, um, a sort of uh, semi-crosswind, it's sort of in at them, it's not a direct crosswind as it's, you know, as we uh, normally expect, but it's decent enough for gusts. Uh, So the um, BLOB, oh blob, no BLOV in it. Is it BLOV? <laughs> BBLOB, BBLO, BBLOB. BLBO, that's <laughs> Bovington, Lambourne, Biggin, and Ockham. There we are, and that's clockwise left, uh, obviously clockwise, starting top left. Um, Singapore after 30 years. The only direct flight between Canada and Singapore after Singapore Airlines stopped their service to Vancouver last year. Well, um, great for, uh, Air, for the Canadians for Air Canada having a direct flight in Singapore. Wow, 30 years. I realise that. Must have been a very um, lucrative, well, I say it must have been, but obviously why have they stopped that route, I wonder. Uh, Singapore Airlines, that is. He's a new member. <laughs> What's that, GP?
don't have Jerry's access in the Renaissance. Still the best hotel. Christian Milburn. If you don't have Jerry's access, what's that all about? If you don't... Am I just misreading that or... I don't know, whatever. Scroll up, mate. Pistol Knights gifted a membership! Okay, yeah, right. No, he's right. The Renaissance is a fantastic place to spot from. guys have got winds they're, they're traveling at six seven hundred mile an hour or however much it is um, uh, at cruise altitude so um, Margaret Aston what does QNH mean I think it's the um, uh, the pressure the air pressure a QNH I think. Am I right in that? Christian Milburn, thank you very much indeed. As a visitor back to the UK for spotting. There he goes. He's at the Renaissance. And it is a great place, isn't it? Miss Malone. Aiden Campbell. Yep, not going to be live tomorrow, Aiden. Well, that's not the plan at the moment, anyway. <laughs> Supposed to be in a golf ball around a field tomorrow. Good luck with that. Oh, easy. See now, whereas they were pointing to the left last time, these guys are now pointing to the right because the wind is coming in from the right. level I did say it Obviously, being um, pre-warned before they, uh, long before they approach the, the UK coastline, uh, be aware of um, gusts in excess of whatever wind speeds. Beverly, Beverly likes the sound of wind. Oh. <laughs> I think it's great, I think it adds atmosphere. I don't know if anyone can blink it me anyway. Yeah, yeah, Christian's on it, yeah. Renaissance. 
Renaissance man. across that flipping uh, road like a, a, a freight train. Oh, Ross Phillips, thank you. There we are, giving us the Metar. Chris Savage, uh, wow, just crazy, makes a change with wind direction, yeah. Well, obviously, we've been most recently um, on um, southwesterlies. Now we're on a northwesterly. So they're having to, uh, no, no, uh, no shed effect today. And as you can see, folks, we are at the paddock. Concerns about us leaving the paddock. It never will happen. Um, of course, be the other end of the runway seeing these coming in, but I think the paddock is a uh, is a great position. Spotting and plain news is a brand new member. Welcome, plain spotting and plain news. It's actually quite a cold breeze, eh? Joshua Atkins saying he plays Microsoft Flight Simulator. Highly detailed Heathrow 27 left is the most accurate craft of runway and Heathrow. educational tool because obviously pilots have them at home and uh, refresh themselves ah! different altitudes. Oh, thanks mate. Cool, just where we are at the moment, doesn't it look like it? Like, uh, oh no. Petros tuning in from Orlando, Florida. Well, oh, it's nicer there, isn't it? Ian Shake Shaft. We have a weather warning in the northwest up until 2200. Uh, gusting all over the gaff. Flight, wow, rudder, elevators, everything was coming there just before touchdown. It's all night. It's almost pointless me talking into the uh, into the wind line, isn't it? 
because when I'm turned into the wind, it just, uh, I can hardly hear myself is what I'm saying, which is a big rarity, I have to say. Arc zero two three two. Uh, Arc, I think it's all about sea level, my friend. Altimeters based on sea level. Better make click pressure. Senior sink rates are pretty hot. Flight radar 24 shows barometric altitude, but GPS altitude is not applicable. That coming from Aiden. Well, I've been granted um, press pass for, for Farnborough. <laughs> without even asking for it, so... Um like they're tackling some significant boo uh, ballooning about two miles out. Thank you Airtime Irish for giving us updates. A chirping bird, wind is increasing earlier before they came on. It was 21 knots, dropped 16 knots, but it's now reached 25 knots. Is that Guff Sting, I'm guessing? Avro Arrow. It's Vueling, isn't it? Someone said the other day, the correct pronunciation for, for the Vueling, as we called it, is Vueling. V-W-E-L-L-I-N-G is, is what I'm basically saying. Floating this way. It's, it's, it's more fortunate that it is a sort of like a more a 
headwind than it is a crosswind, if you see what I mean. It's sort of like an angulated wind, not a direct crosswind. Ashley May, thank you, 25 knots. Nicola Austin, we hear you. Uh, Daria, good day to you, Mank Red. Margaret Burnett. Unleash the crabs, Brian Pounder. Richard the roadie. Taking the missus uh, down to Gap, she's flying out to the Canaries tomorrow morning. Not happy to be going to A slap of of, uh, of wind shear. Then that was like a bang. Kevin Pride circling over South End, having a look down on the beach. Oh, Roger Wilco heading out to Texas for some storm chasing. Wow, this will give you a good. Uh, A good start to it. there I thought. <laughs> Easy. Scratching post area. He's come straight into the scratching post. Look. Here he goes. Here he goes. Oh. Come on in son. Back to the place. Joe Spitfire. itself locks onto its uh, its computer systems locks onto the instrument landing system which is uh, the big orange thing we see at the front end of the runway it's like a it's almost like a big long piece of string basically is the best way to describe it um, in, a, in a very easy way to describe it and they literally fly down that piece of string around about three degrees is the um, 
is the glide slope at, uh, angle. Steve Little, the sun is due in from Vancouver on BA84. Steve Littler, um, are you able to find it, Jenny? Have you found it? Say hello. <laughs> Margaret Burnett, a bit surprised they can hold on to these landings. Well, to be honest with you, you got to remember that they're travelling, you know, at altitude when they're travelling in, um, you know, in high winds. Um, they're travelling at 600 mile an hour, or around about that speed, isn't it? So. You know, it's not like they can't handle it. I mean, it's in terms of that's all at uh, 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 auto control, autopilot, of course. In these manual conditions, of course, it helps if it's more of a headwind than it is a side or crosswind. But um, it's the gusts that get them, isn't it? Uh, the cabin know that they will uh, the passengers know that we may be experiencing some uh, bumpy conditions during our descent <laughs> little blue ridge lucky 747 over the top soon apparently uh, can you see that GP oh BA he's up in Belfast is he okay Costa Silva, no negative on the um, unfortunately on the um, storage of aircraft because they're still owned by the company that stores them. So they don't want people going in there and taking, they can try to avoid it as much as they can. That's why they don't allow really photography when they do their tours around these places. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to go and spy there because it'd be, you know. Sorry for the bad language and all that, but 
I just got hit by a very, very, like a slap in the face, mate. Me head, me, me head, me headset got blown off. That was like a, that was like a slap in the face, honestly, mate. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of fun, but not really. I need to prepare myself for that again, because that was a very peculiar, sudden whip. I think it might be something related to uh, maybe. Well, it can't be downwash. It just literally blew the headset off my head, obviously. <laughs> oh, dear. Need a bleed, yeah, I do need a bleed. I should have brought my motor on me. any point in trying to get anything number one on flight radar is it because uh, there's too many looky loos on uh, looking at aircraft anywhere near the uh, forbidden airspace oh it's number one wow well done people i'm not seeing that lufty 747 chili is it right over the top Virgin boys and girls. 
outside, outside! Blown off air. folks Malcolm Harfield is in New Zealand well hopefully you're still there Malcolm Top folks, I've got railings here. Obviously, I have very strong railings to uh, protect me and keep me uh, within the area on top of the vehicle. Oh, here we go! Big old lumbler. If anything's going to struggle, you would have thought it would be the big one. Like this. It's like constant. It's got to be 25 knots or so, isn't it? Amy Redgate is a brand new member. Welcome, Amy. It's got a moustache. Horse has got a moustache. <laughs> His moustache is being blown. 
Uh, sideways, of course. <laughs> Morning, hello, hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, gusting to 45 knots or mile an hour forecast, Jack Paul saying. One arm bandit adventures. RIP earphone users. <laughs> Flight radar saying 21 knots, Lady Hull saying. Current wind speeds, I'm guessing. Synchrony. Russi T380 is containing 45 mile an hour. is a new member. Welcome Marja. Why? Because what? It's not a new location. <laughs> it's probably one of our oldest locations. <laughs> Kitty Cat Chat. Steve Stibbons. Shannon. Rafael Ramos. Good afternoon. Oh, I don't know about awful weather. It's, uh, it's, it's prime for us, isn't it?
Agnes, all right, mate? I appreciate it. Rusty teaching me we have low moving down from the northwest. Watch the end. over the other side. Aidan Campbell, Boeing 747 over Kensington. Oh, I just missed a cruiser there. Finals, ha <laughs> ha, here we go. A triple seven lover, uh, yeah, they will switch. Um, because today, obviously, with, with it not being a southwesterly, as it's coming from the north. <laughs> Hold B 
A triple seven from Gatwick next. Is this a positioning flight? I'm guessing. I'm guessing it is. Um, for maintenance or just a swap over. Jan Stanland, good afternoon. Marcos da Silva, Suho. Dutch Taurus. Qatar 380, 25 minutes out. Royal Blue Rich telling us, thanks mate. Mr. Rigsby. Brighton Gatwick. Brighton Gatwick to London, 16 minutes. Brighton Gatwick. gonna feel it on this plane man I'm telling you because it's so idle and diddle that it's got a small cabin and uh, the wing is above I think it's a dihedral wing is that right that it's a um, is that when the wing is above the fuselage if you see what I mean or is that I oh, know it's anhedral or dihedral what are you talking about, Sam? Lee Hesp, a double, triple, seven incoming. Lord Pitch, there we go, you see. People love this. It's just a bit funny. Now. TV live on there, haven't they? WRW code. This should be fun. <laughs> uh, Tony Rivers. to me if I went to confessions and then do you have anything to uh, say my son the sofa on that one. <laughs> that was cool. Man. Oh, get yourself off the runway, son. You need to get yourself off the runway. Effort. You need 
need to get off the runway, mate. Or you... Oh, that's far too... Still on the runway. Still on the runway. Still just on the runway. Oh, I'm surprised, man. Go around. That's nothing to do with the wind. Whoa! Easy, mate. That is a... Uh, tower induced go around I think either the pilot called it or the tower called it one of the two the old um, ATR was just late getting off the runway nothing to do with the winds there so the poor old passengers have got to endure it once again man I called it Just what you just said. <laughs> A clear runway. Well, like I said, either the tower called it or the pilot called it. Usually it's the pilot's discretion um, in, a, in cases like that. Well, not usually, but I would imagine. Um, tower usually call when there's possibly something on the runway, there's an obstruction, or there is clearly an aircraft stopped on the runway. Yes. Mustang. No deal. Oh, we've got 10,000 people watching, haven't we? Blimey. Get back to work, you lot. <laughs> well, uh, there might be somebody watching with, uh, with a donut in their hand, and uh, you deserve it. Thank you very much indeed. David Beeston, there must be a lot of tire residue on the runways. How do they clean it and what do they do with it? Well, first of it, they recycle it, David. It gets sent off to recycling uh, places for pathways and uh, playgrounds and stuff like that. Um, and it's done usually by high pressure um, water, believe it or not. Um, yeah, there are very, very high pressure systems uh, that not only can clear the um, clear the uh, um, the tyre residue, uh, which is sometimes quite thick, but also um, uh, lines as well. Wow, look at that 
look at that, uh, see that vortex drifting across there. Looked quite uh, freaky that did, didn't it? And that's the vortex of uh, the engine heat coming from uh, from this end. It's an ERJ, sorry. Embraer Regional Jet. <laughs> Andy Fee's loving it. Bad windy, he says. in New Zealand. My bed can wait. This is way better. FNM04. Steffi Quinlan. Deborah Gunter watched every live stream and some historical video since joining two weeks ago. Best channel ever loving the windy landings. Wow! Deborah Gunter's been knocking herself out with the uh, the archives of Big Jet TV, thank you. Well worth it, if you're a new member, you can go and look at all now. Yeah, well, you are gifted a membership, folks, if you want to 
dip into the archives, you can go and check out all the archives of the show, right up to Sydney recently. Day watching Big Jet TV. There we go. Nice one. Uh, Mr. Rigsby, yes, the uh, the Perth flight is still direct, but the return flight is via Singapore with uh, with Qantas. Sideshow. Oh, easy! Oh, this looks brand spanking new, is it? Designers don't build an aeroplane for aesthetics. They build it for aerodynamics. It just turns out that way that it's a beautiful aeroplane, isn't it? You and Weech. It's a shame, Jilly. Might just ignore them. You know. Mike, 
it's not going to make a lot of difference. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether it would or it wouldn't. It might not. It might do. It's worth trying, isn't it? Do you want me to try it? Yeah. People saying there, man. Like, I like hearing the wind. You know. But non-members I'm talking about. Yeah, just non-members all saying that they like it. Well, they just dump the idiots down the road, mate. All right, well then, that's just part of it, isn't it? You know, you don't have to reply to them or anything, you just kick them down the road. All right, okay, well, there you go. Yeah, there we go. Don't time them out, mate. Yeah, not member. It's a windy day. What do these people expect?
bitten's aviation in 4k a uh, big shout out to all the folks that uh, there's only a few of you guys that do it but thank you for all your time stamps we really appreciate it out there. Let's try this, shall we? Let's try this. Okay. Right, how's that, GP? Have a listen, have a listen. Rumi saying that the uh, the little uh, Joey's inbound. Yeah, you're still going to hear it, but uh, I'll put it in my jacket, that's all. Yeah, that was pretty heavy, man. Robbie Munro's gifted a membership, thanks, Robbie. Bloody hell! Rachel Van Zeller, take it out, sounded better before, right. Then I'm going to do that. Come on out, you come. You on there. And you on there. It's back. It's back. Right. It's good, but I'm the idiots, aren't you? Michael Cook! That's a gifted adventure. Thank you, Michael!
Sport in Kent, Etihad 380 over South End. Where's our uh, Stephen Stibbons, isn't it? It's his son, isn't it? Stephen Littler, sorry. Stephen Littler. I think this is the young lad down here, isn't it? With his old man. With their old man. He wouldn't want to be called that, would he? His dad, isn't it? <laughs> oh no, old man! What a wind rushing past the gear on this 380, man. Oh, that's Qatar, isn't it? So we got two 380s inbound then.
come up. So that was um, pilot induced. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on in. That was BA156 from Q8 executing a go around. It's just the one time I'm looking at the stack and I missed it. And it was right here as well.
it's just approaching from the north. And another one uh, approaching from the south. one that's second but it's just further out uh, it just is it's, it's in a hot you can use it in it Evo Dinkla is a brand new member welcome Evo or Ivo Oh, sorry, a returning member. My apologies. Sorry, Ivo. Westerlies earlier, a bit of a westerly um, element in there, but now it's straight down the pipe, some. Gale just left the Lamborn hold the EY80, uh, A380 EY19, sorry, due to eight, um, eight minutes. Thank you. Um, 
a, 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 a northern element. just going 320s and 321 Neo for the time being. Uh, I think they're going to go possibly with E2 jets at London City for their uh, for their regional stuff I believe. Basically, the uh, pilot, the flying pilot, will be manipulating the throttles, just making tiny incremental adjustments to power up um, to maintain the approach speed, the optimum approach speed. so be it but in these conditions obviously uh, um, when you do have a strong headwind um, you obviously need to keep an eye on your speed Wow! 
54 mile an hour gust GP, did you hear that? Gordon Freeman, uh, G6 giving us uh, wind speed gusts, 54 uh, mile per hour wind speed average, 23.2 mile an hour wind bearing 265. Okay, wind bearing 265, there you go, you see, folks. We are on runway 270, so we're only five degrees out on the um, on the wind direction. But, uh, wow, look at those clouds being whipped up, man. Is this going around? Five memberships. Thank you, Leslie. Itself, all taking massive side loads. Dubai shows the plans at the moment. 
and uh, Thomas Max. It's a bit of a random question. A mighty win! <laughs> Rob Walker, good afternoon to you. Transporting Kevin Bunner, Adam Dix. That's how you do it. Rab H. So Rab's obviously got him his, his technical issue sorted out then, I'm guessing. Mike Spink, the singing salesman. Sideways on, man. You can really see the side of the jet today. Richard Allen's a new member. Welcome, Richard. Wow! Smoky touchdown. Smoke the main. Rubber man, smell it! God blimey, I tell you what, smell a vision scratch card number 18.4.
yeah, he's right. What uh, Scrooby Dee was saying there, and when you compare um, aviation, uh, you know, even the even the small um, private jets have pretty impressive braking systems on them. Uh, Michael Stocks has gifted a membership. Yeah, t especially the tyres. I mean, the closest you'll get to it would be a big truck tyre or even an earth mover or something like that. You know, the tyres that they use on the big moxie trucks in the quarries and all that um, would uh, uh, well, probably be quite uh, a bit thicker, I would have thought. But, uh, well, I don't know about the sidewall. wall on these things is, is really tough. ORK, is that Cork? Craig Russell. Is ORK Cork or is it um, Shannon? <laughs> I don't know. Cork? Jane Quinney, thank you from Cork, indeed. Dan the man, what is the passenger count on the 747 person model? 787s, etc. Well, I'll be honest with you. What you've got to appreciate is the 747 is a big aeroplane, of course, but. Um, you know, discounting the upper deck, uh, which, you know, let's face it, um, is, is quite considerable in its length. Wow! I think that part of it just like, get down! Um, you know, the, uh, the, the, the modern day 350, 1000, uh, the 787 10, 300, in terms of the amount of passengers that it can carry is not much 
different to what the 747, uh, well, the 400 at least, the 747 uh, Dash 8 Intercontinental was a monster aeroplane, it still is obviously, carry a lot of passengers, I think about 250 odd for the uh, 350, 1000s, 777s, and the, uh, and the 787-10s. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, even the 339s um, are uh, sort of like getting onto that, onto that number as well. But obviously a fully laden 747, you know, 350 plus, something like that, depending on the, the cabin layout, really.
Oh, it was a 350, was it? Is it a 350? Are you sure? I thought it was a Dreamline. towards you and you can hear it coming towards you that was just like bang there you are mate as some of that a mirror 389 minutes out Jane Quinney saying thank you Holland giving a shout out to whoever gifted him the membership. John Grinham, good afternoon to you. Stephen Rouse, Blair Hinton. Close captions to figure out what Jerry's doing. Did I? 
entrance that rolling in from Paris. Cathay Specific has gifted a membership. Thank you! And it's Matthew Crowther, or Crowther, who has been gifted the membership. Paul Willows is a brand spanking new member. Welcome, Paul. speed maybe only about three or four knots um, but uh, in terms of aviation that's quite fast so KLM 737 800 the NG unmarked jet still on the road just turning off now
extended um, uh, or increased spacing obviously for reasons of, uh, between aircraft but um, it depends on you know how busy they are uh, and the size of the aircraft there'll be a bigger there'll be a bigger spacing behind this aeroplane uh, because of its size Really good to watch, man. Making it up! It's not that big, it just sounds like it. Um, well, you obviously got access to a smartphone. Um, go and check the weather out, mate. inside a nice warm cozy room <laughs> no I wouldn't I wouldn't be out here battling the elements bringing it to you guys
exposed hands. Big old clouds over there, man. Looks a big old clouds over there. Wow, getting lucky here, man. I'm telling you, Anthony K is a rare new member. Welcome, Anthony. Yeah, we're very fortunate. This young lad might have waited patiently down here to give me that. He's got to wait here now till three o'clock, isn't he? Another 20 minutes, mate. Bless him. His dad's like, I told you not to buy a bleeding Chris uh, uh, Easter egg. Now we got to wait here for another hour. <laughs> Bless him. Can because if anyone can, I'll let you finish that sentence. UK Sky Watcher. Just um, taking it out of service to bring it back to Heathrow for maintenance, and they'll maybe take another one down there to replace it um, for a, for a, a, an operation. Oh, it was. Thank you, Lady Hole. Another repositioning flight. Seventeen minutes is crazy, isn't it? Barely got time. To uh, once you actually probably don't even get much above 10,000 feet, do they? Those positioning flights, you know. You're a witch from Stuttgart. 
Thank you, Raptor X. Lowlander! have done well with it. Remember folks, it's a Bombardier designed aircraft originally. Nothing to do with Airbus. Just the whole um, lock, stock and barrel bought out by uh, that particular arm of Bombardier. Baby bus on approach, the digital terror. Daniel Pearson.
loving the stack shots. Vigilant with the sticks in terms of their uh, in terms of the rake of the sticks. Stand by. I need to increase that ever so slightly. You are GP. Heathrow Airport. Welcome. Record numbers uh, last month. Eighty odd million or something. Seven million or something like that, yeah. In a month. Seven million people. gear down as late as possible man or extending their gear should we say it did 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 do that here he comes look proper baby bus come on mate you got a big tail
of wind shear causing all that movement? Uh, well, it's wind speed. It's, it's, it's wind gusts and um, all the different elements of wind, really. Um, Matthew. All the movement is, is the, the side winds, the, 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 the head winds. I mean, it, we're now more of a northern, a northern element now, so we should be talking like that, really. Because it's northern winds, like. <laughs> hey up, welcome to London Heathrow. So yeah, good question Matthew though, it is, all the, it is the wind, it's not so much the uh, wind shear, it's the, uh, it's the winds that are causing the aircraft to move in the direction of the wind. As a result of that, he wrote off, almost wrote off an aeroplane, mate. <laughs> almost a brand new one at that. <laughs> From time to time, you might see a ripple, what looks like a fluid ripple, running across these jets. And that is the heat that's coming from the exhaust of the aircraft in front. Jane Quinney saying, looks like uh, 787-8 Dreamliner last in the, tack, in the stack, uh, BA from Delhi. Ha, 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 ha. 
championship. Thank you, Karen. Lineups to seven left departures already stacking up here. Well, one. <laughs> Down there, son. Is this the last two? Then? Dave Vickers tuning in from work. Hey, everyone, Dave's watching. folks and then it's uh, off to McDonald's <laughs> and uh, a well deserved cup of coffee together and let's uh, we want Aussie toasties here in the UK. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go now folks. It's very difficult to uh need to hold on to that. Um, but listen we might be back later over the other side so uh stay tuned if you know what I mean. Um, just keep an eye on your phones or your devices or whatever and we'll uh, maybe see you over the other side. Uh, depends on how things uh, work out, but we'll see you later anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves. Okay, GP, that's a wrap. <laughs>